Argelfump here, analyzing the latest trailer for Nancy Drew Game 32. Rated E10 for ages 10 and up. I like the new logo screen, but let's go back a bit. The game is E10 for mentioning alcohol. There's a pub in this game, so I guess that makes sense. Mild blood. Maybe Nancy's getting a nosebleed or something. Violent references? Ooh, I think somebody might be getting hurt. We saw this scene at the end of the previous game. There's a ship called the Heerlidge Kide, which has crashed into the town during the Forfioratio Festival. The ship is run by Magnus Kilge. I'm not going to be able to pronounce anything in this game, am I? Anyway, Magnus is the ship's captain, and he disappeared, which is why the ship crashed. Find my missing, skeeving, backstabbing business partner, Magnus. He disappeared some time before our ship crashed into the harbor. Sounds like I've got my work cut out for me. This is Dagny Silva. Nancy starts off talking about her name. Dagny owns the ship, and she thinks Magnus ran off to find a legendary gold treasure. So she hired Nancy to find him, because apparently Nancy's a lost and found service now. What do you think happened to Magnus? If he were to turn up, say, less than alive, it would spell bad news for me. This man is Soren, who runs the Culture Center. He's a history buff, and the locals treat him like an outsider. I'm getting a lot of this information from the characters page on the game's website, by the way. There's a rumor about treasure on board worth millions. And if I find the treasure, I'll find Magnus. Yes. The key to finding the treasure is learning about that ship. I sense a map puzzle, and here's the rest of the conversation with Dagny. Sorry, the quality isn't fantastic. What are your thoughts on the treasure rumor? Nothing is ever buried here. Just sleeping. And sometimes, it awakens in unexpected ways. The scrambling around for hidden treasure? Embarrassing. I heard something about your family lying in connection to the ship. She is a beautiful ship, truly. But her history is stained with blood. Okay, we found the mild blood! This is Elizabeth, who recently broke up with Magnus. And if the subtitles are to be believed, the treasure is rightfully hers. I'm thinking it ties in with her family. Because of this paper here, it's about a woman who is taken away from England to Iceland, which fits in perfectly with the word I couldn't keep. The tragic romance song of the game. So I, I'm guessing this is all about Elizabeth's ancestor, which is tied in with the treasure and why she thinks her family deserves the treasure. I, I'm just guessing here. Also, the grumpy old sailor is Gunnar. I wonder if he's related to Holt Scotto. From what I can tell, Gunnar is an angry pirate. You've had problems with the festival the last couple of years. Ever since that sword took over the festival running, it's been straight to the bottom with it. After enough time in the biz, the girl knows when she's being backstabbed. Gunnar confirms that the locals hate Soren, and here's a close-up on the backstab convo. After this, we have a puzzle and what looks like death scenes. That man's mind is a hive of mysteries, an enigma. Ah! <laughs> Who's there? They released screenshots for this game. One is called Ice Caves, which is probably where the icicle death takes place. We also had deaths in the Captain's Quarters and the Lighthouse Island. The final screenshot is from an ice cabin, which I don't think was in the trailer. Also not in the trailer, Ned! Nancy's boyfriend has returned as a phone contact. The other phone contact is Alex Trang, who works at the Harbor Master's control tower. Harbor Master Holt Scotto, perhaps? I guess the only other thing to talk about are the game features. We're gonna earn money by learning about Iceland's history! Why is it that Nancy never takes money with her when she's going overseas? 
Also, she will be doing sailor things, probably because Gunnar threatened her with a knife. And that's it, everybody. That's it for Nancy Drew, Sea of Darkness. The game officially launches on May 19th, but you can pre-order now and get it a week early. Until then, stay sleuthy.